so this is weird not being in our typical studio. Um, I don't even know how to do an intro for this because I'm the only one. Imagine if I was just like... Oh, hey, what's up? What's going on guys? Mark here with Just a Little Podcast, bringing you Just a Little Tip. For this video's tip, we're going to be covering the different bags and boards you guys can choose from when it comes to bag and boarding your books and the options that I go for when it comes to bag and boarding my books depending on how I collect. Unfortunately you guys see that it is just me. Cookie and Marco couldn't make it to this video but you know what we're, we're gonna get through this. We'll do this. We'll, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be better than even when they were here. Even when it was Cookie. Besides I'm used to talking to myself because I have no friends. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Anyway, before we get into it, I did want to mention PodCoin to you guys. If you haven't started using it to listen to our podcast or any podcast at that, it's a great way for you to collect points while you're listening to podcasts and then trade them in for gift cards or for donations to a charity that you like. If you guys use our code, little podcast, when you sign up, you get entitled to 300 points at the jump, so you can start collecting from there. Check out the cap, PodCoin. So jumping right into it, there's only really two different bags that you guys will commonly try to get when it comes to storing your comic books, and that's going to be the poly bag and the mylar bag. Your poly bag is a little bit uh, weaker in structure. Weaker, I meaning like flimsy. It's not. It's nothing like highly um, structured, but it definitely gets the job done. It's also your cheaper option, um, given that it does last anywhere between three to eight years. And I know that's a huge span, but there's a lot of variables that play into that. You can tell that it'll start to decompose by the waves that'll start to build up on the bag itself. And then it'll start to yellow as well, um, just from reaction of exposure to oxygen and everything. The other option other than poly bags is the Mylar bags. The Mylar bags are a little bit more structured, a little bit more stiff in their, in their um, construction itself and they last longer actually this is used by the US government this material is used by the US government to protect their documents and to archive their documents so if you're definitely looking for longevity and insurance in the protection of your books this is definitely the way to go uh, there is a price difference between the two if you're looking to go the cheaper route you, the poly bags will run about $11.99 for a set of 100 and this varies, this price varies. This is just exactly the same set that I get, particularly the resealable by BCW because I don't want to mess with tape. Tape is dangerous when it comes to sliding a book in and out of a bag. So, um, I try to stay away from those. But for a Mylar bag, the same set that I have, for the same $11 roughly that you'll get 100 bags for, you'll only get 50 of the Mylar bags. And it is more expensive, but you know, it's a give and take. You're trading the longevity and the insurance of the protection for um, for the price. I would definitely suggest to put your more expensive books in the Mylar bags because you know, you'll probably wouldn't be touching them as often and it'll definitely stay longer for the poly bags. But I have heard of a lot of people that have went the poly bag route. They've kept it for uh, 10 years and they've never had to change them out. Um, it's all preference at the end of the day, uh, whichever way you want to go. There's also a different bag, I guess, you would call them, called top loaders. Now these are completely stiff um, and they will ensure complete protection. Uh, I would probably only use this for displaying your books. Um, it'd be a great way for you to slide the book in and kind of have it on a stand so you could uh, view the books and if you were ever to exchange them, the slot is really easy to slide them into. So if you, I don't even know if you guys can see that, but if you ever wanted to just slide the books in and out and kind of swap out your display every now and then, top loaders would definitely be the way to go. Now when it comes to boards, um, boards are super generic. There's really just like one type of board that you'll get. You'll see that there is kind of two sides to it. This is just what I've read too, that there's one side that's a little bit more dull. Uh, let me see if I can get that in there. And then there's one side that's a little bit more shiny. Now the the shinier side um, is typically the side they say has the coating and the acid free protection for your book. So that's the side that you want to put your book on top of when you're putting it into the bag. 
I don't know if that's absolutely true, but you know, just to keep in mind if you're looking at these. The option that I do go with is made by E. Gerber, and that's this fullback option. Uh, there's two that they make, one's a fullback, one's a halfback, that just indicates the thickness of the board itself. So I've always just went with their board, um, especially with the fullback, it being more structured allows me um, to give it to someone who doesn't necessarily know how to handle comic books and feel secure that they wouldn't bend it because of the, you know, the typical books aren't as structured as a fullback and that's why I, I board them. Anyway, you guys can see the E Gerber board within the poly bag. I like how this is set up because again, it's a little bit more structured. I could hand this to someone who doesn't necessarily know how to handle comic books um, and feel safe that they're not going to bend it. There's borders on the side of it, which I kind of like. It frames out the book for you. Um, and it's just a great look. It looks really clean. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to the different bags and boards you guys have to choose from. I think really the biggest confusions that start to arise is the sizes that you guys get. And that leads really into uh, the preference and, and how you collect. Me personally, the sizes that I get, I'll leave them down in the description box down below so you guys can check them out. But um, I really go with uh, E Gerber's Mylar bags, E Gerber's boards, and then BCW's resealable polypropylene bags. Any comic book that I have that's current, that's under $20, I'll put in the polypropylene bag with the E Gerber backboard. And with any book that's, you know, a lot older or more than $20, I'll put in the Mylar bags just to ensure its protection. The reason why I do it this way is because whenever I'm done reading a comic book for the first time through, I kind of put it away and that's it. I, I pretty much don't really open it unless I just kind of sift through my box. Um, and I went with particular sizes on the bags for the board so that when it's all in the all in the box, it looks completely uniform and it is satisfying to look at. I'll probably post a picture right now on... <laughs> Sorry, I saw something fly and I got kind of scared. I'll post a picture up to kind of show you guys how it looks when it's completely in the box and all you know even and clean and how it looks anyway i hope you guys find this uh video informational and if you guys have any questions regarding the bags and books go ahead and leave them in the comments down below if you guys have any questions of anything else <clears throat> dang it what anything else that you guys want us to cover for this segment uh, just a little tip leave it in the comments section down below we're always looking to help and we always have questions ourselves so if you guys have any assistance too we greatly appreciate that smash that like button and hit that notification bell so let you know when we're dropping a new video every friday i know it's been kind of weary lately but um you know we're getting right back on track and we'll be getting videos to you guys out every friday so go ahead like subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll catch you guys in the next video there's a glare you can see where the light is Look at this. There's so many bags. Why is there so many bags? I never realized how much money I spend on bags and boards. <clears throat> Damn it.